Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we have breaking news in the Trump vice presidential sweepstakes. Now we know a lot more. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're voting for Donald Trump, no matter who his vice president is, hit that join button and become a member of this channel. Donald Trump has really played this cagey. He has really held his cards close to the vest. I couldn't tell you right now who his vice presidential pick is going to be. I got a pretty good idea of who it's narrowed down to. But I'm not going to speculate right here, right now. What I will tell you is the announcement he made is that there will be a fundraiser on July 18th. July 18th. We're just 11 days away. Be a fundraiser with him and the vice presidential nominee. So we will know for sure within the next 11 days who his vice presidential pick is going to be. Who do I think it is? I got it narrowed down to three. Tim Scott, Marco Rubio, Doug Burgum. And I'm really, really, really rooting for Tim Scott or at least Marco Rubio. I, I'm a big Marco Rubio fan, always have been. Big Tim Scott fan, always have been. I don't really know Doug Burgum that well, and that's kind of the problem. But I could also see the point of getting a Doug Burgum when you know that Trump is the star of the ticket and you're just going to overshadow who that person is anyway. Maybe you want somebody who's more low-key and laid back. I don't know what goes into Trump's thinking. To me, Tim Scott or Marco Rubio, and this thing is done. It's a sealed deal. He's the next president. That's my opinion. I want you to listen to what Marco Rubio said about it today, and then I want you to give me your opinions in the comments on who exactly you think it's going to be and who you think it should be. United States in 2024. Yeah. Just for the record, the numbers at the border are the lowest now than uh, since 2021. But I want to ask the question right 10 now. 10 million which people is are in our country illegally. They're murdering days, people every day. Just eight days from now, the Republican convention begins. Donald Trump is expected to announce his vice president. Uh, he's holding a rally in Florida on Tuesday. What's the latest that you have heard? Any meetings, any conversations? Well, like I would tell you on television today. <laughs> Why not? Right? Look, I, I've heard nothing. I, I, I know nothing. and I, You probably know more than I do about it. Donald Trump has a decision to make. He'll make it when he needs to make it. He'll make a good decision. I know for certain that I will be out there over the next three or four months working on behalf of his campaign in some capacity. I know that I'll be in the Senate and I'll have an opportunity to continue to do that. And either way, all I care about at this point and what I care about the most is that we can't afford another four years like the last four and I'm willing to help in any way I can. And um, But as far as making an announcement, that's up to him and their campaign. And I don't have one for you this morning, that's for sure. The Constitution says that presidential electors cannot vote for a president and a vice president who are both from their state. You and Donald Trump are both residents of Florida. If you're chosen to be his running mate, are you willing to move to another state or resign your Senate seat? Well, I'm not. That's presumptuous. I don't know. I have, I have no idea who he's going to pick. And those, like I said, we'll confront those issues when they come. Uh, but I think it's comforting for Americans to know that when Kamala Harris becomes their nominee, she can't pick Gavin Newsom because I don't think we can afford as a country to have two Californians with their crazy policies become the law of the land. Senator, so, you haven't thought about sure. this at all. You haven't at all had any discussions with your family, with your advisors on the what if. Do I have to leave Florida? Do I have to resign my Senate seat? That's all, not something you've even considered? <laughs> I think when I think it's presumptuous to talk about any of those things in public because the president hasn't made President Trump hasn't made those decisions when he makes those decisions, no matter who he picks, you know, then then those conversations will happen. 